Uh, my name is Ramon Leon. I'm, uh, I'm an assistant professor at North Carolina State University. I work in weed ecology and biology, and today we are um, seeing a little bit of the results of some of the studies we're conducting to develop integrated approaches to manage uh, specifically herbicide resistant weeds in row crops. In this case, what we're trying to understand is how cover crops can help or complement um, the use of pre-emergent herbicides as part of an integrated weed management program. So in this case for soybeans, as you can see here, we had uh, cereal rye, which is a very commonly used cover crop here in the area. And what we did, we terminated the crop at uh, the boot stage, so when it started producing uh, the inflorescence. So as you can see, there is a significant amount of um, biomass on the ground that really helps suppress uh, wheat growth and wheat emergence. Now, what we're trying to understand is how much of that wheat suppression is due to the physical barrier that the cover crop residues produce and how much of that is due to allelochemicals that are released by the roots. So, in this other plot that we have here, what we did was they had the exact same treatment, but before planting, we remove all those residues outside the plot, just to see if there was any allelochemical residual effect in the soil that would reduce weed populations. As you can see, um, we still have a lot of weeds uh, compared to the ones that had the cover crop residues. So uh, at this point, we're concluding that definitely that barrier, that physical um, amount of residues that stay on the ground when we use a cover crop are playing a very, very important role. Having said that, we also are noticing that having the cover crop and on top of that using pre-emergence herbicides that will still provide control of herbicide resistant weeds or weeds that are resistant to other chemistries will definitely help to maintain those weed seed banks at low levels. Just to give you an idea, even though we still have weeds here, when we compare to a non-treated control, we just did not plant a cover crop here and we have not sprayed any herbicides. We have a lot more, in this case, Palmer amaranth, which is our most important weed. Uh, we have also a lot of other weeds like morning glories. So these weeds are really more difficult to control. They're very prolific. So what we have seen by integrating the cover cropping with the use of pre-emergent herbicide that are still effective, we really gain more weed control. We suppress weed emergence, we suppress weed growth, and we hope we're gonna reduce the amount of weed seeds that are produced every year.